Hey everyone, welcome to my kitchen where everything is scratch made and home preserved. I'm Jenny and today I have actually a review for you. So I really wanted to get a grain mill or a grinder and you know of course I'd like a big fancy expensive one but it just wasn't in my budget. So I did find one that is a little bit more a little bit more budget friendly and it works pretty darn good and I wanted to share it with you in case you are in the same position as I am. You'd like a grain mill but the big fancy ones just aren't in your budget. Let me show you what I got. This is my new grain mill and it's a smaller one. This is um, 700 grams. This holds 700 grams. You can get them in this brand in different sizes. This one is by Golden Wall. And for it being only a 700 gram capacity, it's power rated at 2400 watts. So it's actually pretty darn fast. I will put a link to this one in the description box below for you. This one is a little bit more affordable. Um, and at Amazon, this one costs $155. It moves. So while you are grinding you can actually hold the handle and move this back and forth to make sure that everything gets mixed up and ground really well in here it has a timer on the side oh this is also the power and then a little light to let you know that it's on after you've ground this up this comes down to pour it out this does not detach the downside to this one i will tell you is you can't pull this out and, and wash it um, you just have to wipe it out. So far, that's the only downside. Other than that, this is a really good grinder. These flip up, this turns and pulls up. And this is what the inside looks like. It comes with extra blades, of course, and I've already been using it today. Um, so I used it today and my bread dough is in the oven rising. I will post the results to that on Instagram and Facebook if you're, if you're curious to see the bread after it's made. This is the lid. And then in the future, I will be doing a couple videos um, for baking with this. Just not today since uh, this is brand new and that's my first loaf of bread. So I don't even know how it's gonna go. That's using my regular bread recipe. So we'll see how it's gonna go. But so far, I'm super happy with this. I used it for the first time today and it worked really well. So we're gonna go ahead and grind some more up. I'm gonna try some homemade crackers with this and we'll see how it goes. If it goes well, I'll make you a video showing you the crackers. Today, I'm just showing you the grinding. This comes with extra replacement um, blades. It also comes with a screen so that um, after you get done, you can actually um, make sure that any larger bits that you don't want are in the screen and not in your product. I have putting in here one cup of um, hard red wheat, and this is spring wheat. When these go in, you put the lid on this way, and then this locks it into place, and it also activates it so that you'll be able to turn it on. And then these flip back to lock it in. Turning it on here, protect your ear bones. Okay, when the timer's up, it turns off. Also, I want to point out, it does have a little red handle here. Um, second downside to this is it gets really, really hot. And then here, um, this can adjust so that you can swivel it or you can, or you can tighten it so that it doesn't move at all. So here is my bowl that I've been using. Again, I've already been playing with this. It does, the lid does hold some of it. So I'm going to scrape this off. And the lid is also very hot. So this works pretty darn well for being inexpensive. I would, however, like a bigger one. When I made bread this morning, I had to do a couple runs in, in the um, grinder here. Comes with a little brush so that you can brush the rest out. And then using the little red handle here. And it has rubber on it so that it doesn't heat up. There is the flour. Mm 
And again, the little brush helps get the rest of the stuff out. Okay, I'll clean that out good later. That is hot. I'm going to let it cool off. The flour is also hot. I'm going to get out my little screen and we are going to sift this and see what's left in here afterward. Hot flower. And when you use this, you do not have to sift it. You can just use it. When I made my bread this morning, I, I just used it. I didn't sift everything completely out. I don't know, um, I don't have any experience with other grain mills, so do other grain mills come with a sifter? Do you have to sift when you have other grain mills? Have you sift when you have other grain mills to see how fine it is? I guess if you're gonna use this for uh, bread, you've got it already nice and sifted if you did this. But again, you don't have to. This is, the sifting this is optional. Okay, all the flour that we just did, um, one we did one cup, there's maybe a tablespoon of the harder stuff left that you could still add because again, it's whole grain and then the super fine. And I am, this is about a cup and a half. It might be a little bit more than a cup and a half. All right, there you go. I think this is a great grinder. <laughs> For the price it is, it holds about two cups comfortably. Um, I think it's a great product, especially if you're just starting out grinding your own grain like I am. Uh, I think it's a great product. You know, I would like a bigger one at some point, but for now, I'm going to be grinding all sorts of stuff in here. This is also, you can also do beans, you could do rice in here, you could do coffee beans, you can do spices, you can do anything in this grinder. I just wanted to share with you my new grain mill, number one. Number two, let you know that this one is affordable and I'm super excited about it. I will link this in the description box below. There are different sizes. Um, this one, there's a 300 gram, a 700 gram, and then they go up from there. So this is one of the smaller ones, but again, affordability. So there you go. I'll link this in the description box below. I'll give you the Amazon link because I found it cheapest on Amazon. I did however find one on Walmart that was not this brand. It was cheaper than this. It was about $85. The rated power on this is $2,400. The one at Walmart that I did not see the, that I didn't see the brand, um, it was $85 and the power was $1,200. So not as powerful you get what you pay for, keep that in mind. So for something that's inexpensive, this has a lot of power behind it and it's a great product. Um, also, I will mention, I am not getting paid by the company for this. This is not an ad for the company. This is something that I came across that my husband bought for me and this is what I'm using. So I wanted to share it with you because I found it affordable. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet and you like videos like these, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out a lot and I sure do appreciate your support. You can find me on Instagram at JennyGoff18. I'm also on Facebook and you can visit my blog for all of my recipes at JennyGoff.com. Here's a sneak peek at my bread dough rising with my grain. The freshly milled grain. It's looking good. That'll be ready for me to work up in about 30 minutes. I will post the end results on my Instagram and my Facebook so you can go there and check it out. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.